here's the coil. All right. So it goes in straight like that, and then it rolls in like that. So it rolls in the lung. Definitely, emphysema shortens shortens your life. The worse the disease, uh, the the shorter one uh, is likely to survive. And what emphysema is specifically is destruction of the collagen and elastin tissues in the lung, so that the small air sacs, the what we call the alveoli, um, the walls are destroyed between those. If you want to sense what it means to be hyperinflated, if you take a deep breath to the top of your lungs. Instead of exhaling to your normal relaxed state, you now just exhale a teacup and then breathe back in from there and then exhale a teacup. And that uncomfortable sensation is what these patients feel every day. Um, and that's what we're trying to deal with with this intervention. Go ahead. Yeah. In the coil arm of the study, we bring patients in to our clinical research unit these patients will go in the bronchoscopy lab. The procedure we anticipate will be about an hour. There won't be any surgical cutting. Uh, we, we use a, a long, thin fiber optic bronchoscope, which you can look through into the lungs, and these coils are placed through the bronchoscope, um, 10 coils in, into each lung. These coils had never been used in the United States. However, there is extensive experience in Europe, and the preliminary results in Europe show uh, great promise. It will now be tested in a much more formal, much larger trial, uh, including uh, some European sites, but at least 25 North American sites as well. Our hope is at the University of Pittsburgh alone, we would enroll 20 to 30 uh, patients into the trial. Because we are really very limited in what we can do in patients with end-stage lung disease, we've over the years developed much more heroic interventions. In my world, in 10 years from now, we will customize the patient to the specific therapy and we would have a whole tool chest of interventions that would allow us to maximize the improvement in lung function and quality of life in our patients.